Right, hi, good morning. Your peace is over, your peace is shattered. I'm back to make noise and disturb you. I just wanted to run through um, all the pictures you've seen on my blog today have been taken this morning. I got up very early. Big plans, very exciting year ahead for me. Not only I've got a new class starting next week, but then I'm exhibiting in France in April. So these fingers of mine need to get working as quick as they can. So I did quite a few things this morning that will enable me to hand stitch and progress some things that are in progress. The first thing to say, I broke two nails this morning, them two. I do apologise, I look like a right skank. Anyway, so please try and ignore that. It's tra I'm traumatised, but there you go. Um, right, so this piece, if you've seen this, this is the front. Alright, it's the wrong way to you, I'll put it the right way to you. That's the front and that's the back. So that is going to be it's going to be squared off obviously and stitched together and things. Uh, I'm going to put Suffolk puffs on the front as well when I'm ready to put it all together like this. Scatter them about. You've seen these. These have been on my blog. Um, they've been discussed and they've been discussed and considered and perused on my blog. So the front will finish up looking something like that, maybe not exactly like that with Suffolk Puffs on. Move that out of the way. And then the back will be like that. So the lining is going to be embroidered as well. So that's what I've done this morning. I've drawn that bit of doodle on there. That will have a Suffolk Puff at the top and this will be embroidered. So that will be inside so what will happen here is, so you'll have this pocket and inside there'll be embroidery as well, okay, as well as on the reverse. So that's what I've done with this piece this morning. I'm going to damp stretch this again. It's been damp stretched, but sometimes I do hang them up. I said that before, I think, but for some reason it just doesn't look quite right to me. So I'm going to damp stretch that again in a minute. Um, and then I need to embroider on that. So I'll put that away. And I'm going to damp stretch this again as well. You might not be able to see anything significant, but I can see probably just natural folds where these Suffolk puffs are. But I'd prefer it if they weren't there. So I'll damp stretch that again as well. Put that over there. So that's that piece. And then the other piece is the ironing board piece. Now I think I remember saying to you on my blog that when it's folded in, when the extremities are are identified it's going to be like that okay and it's too narrow for my liking all right so what i've done today is i've pressed some silk and again i've doodled on that silk and i'm going to add that over there something like that and then what have i done with those things I'm going to do some hexagons over here as well. So it's going to be something like this. So. I've covered these obviously with fabric, but I need to join them together. And did you have a lovely Christmas? I did. So that will be. So that pouch, so we're all going to fall off now, those hexagons, will be something like that. Now I'm going to join these two pieces and keep them on. They're going to be joined with bullion loops, pink bullion loops and green bullion loops, those two pieces. So I'm going to, so I've done the bits I needed to do so that I can progress this with hand stitch as well. So the first thing I'll do is join these together and attach these to there. Then I'll embroider that and then I will join it with bullion loops. So I'm giving myself plenty of things to do. But really it was just to show you that all this has been done this morning. Those pictures that you saw have all been taken this morning. Now there's something else going on here as well that you're probably aware of because you've seen it before. This piece. Now I think you might remember me saying 
that I was confident I could make this work and I think I have so what I'm going to do is if I fold it as best I can where I think my seams are going to be and if I play with this too much now on camera then I'm going to have to damp stretch this again but it doesn't matter I ordered a lot of silk this morning so I don't have a lot of silk left right so that would be the top and bottom this will be a pouch pocket pouch thing quite a small one now you might notice that last time you saw this the bullion loops weren't done on here but they are now on there uh, I just want to try and get um, I want to show you the extremities of this piece so there okay on there now I debated last night whether I needed another one of them and I possibly do but I'm not going to rush in and do that because I might make a little uh, puff or something for there I might decide to do that so that will be the extremes of this now what I've done since you last saw it I've put another bumpy bit here I've put another frill around there remember that one was there last time um, and I've basically bullion knotted these and added more of these motify things going on so that's that one almost finished I just need silk now to back it and line it because this will be a small one it won't I won't add to this one I won't make this any bigger yeah I think I will make something to go there a little something what I don't know but I will so that's that one so I've been I haven't done any sewing since Christmas Eve or the day before because I've had my daughter and her husband have been here from London and it's been amazing and I'm so happy they were here I wouldn't have had it any other way and um, they went yesterday and last night I kind of didn't I didn't do hardly anything last night because it takes me a while to get my head back into that mode and I still had stuff to do in the house to get the house back to normal as much as I can um, so this morning like I said I got up very early and I've been on a mission and I'm so pleased with how much I've done this morning because it's only 10 o'clock now um, and I've done loads I've been up since like half six some of you might get up earlier than that every day but that's well half six it's like quarter of an hour earlier than I normally get up um, but still it just spurs me that extra 15 minutes spurs me and I'm really, really pleased with the progress I've made. So these are the things that are in my head at the moment. Although by the time I get to the weekend, my head's going to be in pocket class mode slash France mode. Because I really have to progress things for France as well. So that's how my next three months are going to be. Pocket class and France. And even though I'm doing a class, my blog won't suffer. Because I always try my very best to keep my blog as a focus as well because you're all important to me too you don't have to be in my class to be important to me um, but if you're in my class yes you know I love you you know I love you um, so yeah so basically that's it I just wanted to run through all those pictures with you and what was going on here shame moi okay <laughs>